We have a girl who is called Modesta Joseph. She's from a humble family and she joined our program when she was 15. So when she joined, she barely didn't know even how to use a computer. But she caught up very fast and coded her website. The website, what it does, it's called ourchrist.com. What it does is that she realized, you know, in Tanzania, uh, students, they pay a small transport fee compared to adults. So when they're using public transit, usually the bus conductors, they push them because they wouldn't love to have many students on the bus because they're paying a small fee. So they push them. Sometimes they stop them from going inside. And some of them, they get different harassments because of that. And some of them stay on the bus stand waiting for the car until late and they reach home late. And sometimes they reach school late. So she was like, I want to change this. She coded her website where students can report all those harassments. Yeah. And after reporting, she was like, I don't want it to stop there. I want the government to take action. So she went, with her help, she went to the agency which is in charge of transport and communication. Transport, yeah, transport and communication, surface uh, marine and surface transportation. So she presented her idea. It was not something that they accepted the first day, but we kept on, we kept on, we kept on. And now I'm saying that Modesta has officially partnered with that government agency and they're integrating her system with their toll-free number where students can even just SMS. And more to that, when she was 15, she participated in the innovation fund. It was organized by Tanz ICT and the Commission for Co Commission for Commission for Technology and uh, Commission for Technology and I said in Tanzania, Costec. So she won five thousand dollars. She was the youngest ever, and because of also her amazing work, she was the youngest Tanzanian to attend slash slash uh, event, um, which was happening in Finland with fellow entrepreneurs from all over the world, just because of what she had done. And right, she's continuing to do great things. And recently in March, she was from New York. She was named the global teen, the global teen leader by the Three Dot Dash organization. So she's doing amazing thing. And she doesn't want, she does, she's so resilient, yeah. So, and that's Modesta. Another one is Asha Abbas. As I speak right now, Asha is in New York, participating in the, the Junior Academies MLIAS uh, competition. So Asha Bass also, she's now 18. She joined us when she was 16. Yeah. So she coded our website. Why buy? Um, because she realized like as a teenager, her parents never gave her sex education. And it was the same problem to many students in Tanzania. And she felt they were doing, they were having, they were making um, bad decisions which were also affecting them. So she created a website where they could ask questions regarding sexual health education. And she connected with counselors who could respond to them and fellow teens also could respond to them. So on her platform, they ask and they're answered. It is called auratin.org. And now, Asha is one of the youngest 2016 Anzisha Fellow. She was one of the 12 people who were selected by Anzisha Prize, who competed in Anzisha Prize. And out of the whole of Africa, she was among them who went to compete in South Africa. Though she didn't win, but it was amazing her reaching at that stage. And going back to Tanzania, she's a role model, I'm telling you. Because we have a word called Marikia Wangovo, which means um, the powerful queen. So she was awarded as the powerful queen in the sector of health by in Tanzania back home. We have many more girls who are doing amazing things. Some have ideas right now, but others have already started implementing them. And we look forward to disrupt the whole of um, the whatever is happening, the status quo, to disrupt it and make Africa um, a place where 
ladies are tech leaders. They are participating in everything. They are building the next Facebook. That's what Apps and Girls is looking at.